Hi friends, uh, this is Vital Verge, and this video tutorial we will learn what is the JSON result type in MVC. So before proceeding, uh, let us see one slide. Uh, let us I maximize it. So first understand what is action results. So action results nothing but the it is the output format which is shown to the client. It has different output formats. Uh, suppose in our normal H.NET application, uh, we uh, return the string, uh, we return the uh, array, uh, array to the uh, client. So similar to this, there are certain types of uh, result types in MVC application. Uh, suppose uh, what are the main types are there? There are the view results. Uh, uh, what about this view result? We will learn in later video means I have already written the one article on it. Uh, partial view result, empty result, redirect result, redirect to route result, JSON result, JavaScript result, content result, file content result, file stream result and file path result. So action result is nothing but the it is the output format which is shown to the client. Client means to the browser or to the user. So in this article or in this video tutorial we will learn about the JSON result type. So what is JSON result type? JSON result type is nothing but the it returns the returns the JSON output to the client. JSON is stand for JavaScript object notation. It is nothing but the simple text format file. So let us let us see it practically. Uh, what about this? So uh, so me um, escape this and go to the Visual Studio. So uh, what I am saying that is JSON result is written the JSON output to the client. So what is the JSON output? Let us see practically. Uh, uh, this file new project we are going to create new MVC application project which is a empty. So let us click here your web application this here type here. Uh, give name json result result type or uh, whatever may be as you wish i am giving the json result type and click on ok and now select empty project to avoid any extra code uh, select this mvc template and click on ok so it will create one empty mvc project so uh, wait for uh, while creating the MVC application, but it requires uh, another few seconds. So it may be my some machine problem. So let us let us wait it creating. Yeah, it's finished. So. This is one simple MVC application project. It is an empty project. We have already seen my earlier video that is how to create MVC application and uh, about this folder, what folder what does and uh, how to add view, how to add model, how to add controller, how to write the methods in controller, all these things. But we can repeat again it. Let us let us see there is no controller here. So let us we will start it from model. Model add here new class as we already discussed a model is nothing but the one simple class so write here what i can write here i will write here employee mp hello y double e employee model and click on ok what we will write here we will write simple get set properties and we will access it in a controller so let us make it public so i can so we can access it outside this class file public sorry ublic public class emp model and now write some properties uh, what i can write i will write one prop int it will be add three properties i will add name it will be it will be id 
what is this this field will be id uh, this will be a string name and uh, i will an another one that is string uh, what is this i will give the name as i think i think i will increase the size to see uh, i will add it as city so this is a normal uh, uh, class file we have created if you want to put some validation then you can use data annotation class but uh, there is no need here so let us let us build one so the dll can be generated of the model class mm, it requires a few second let us wait uh, while build now yeah is built now next step is as we have already seen in our msc application creation next step will be adding the controller add here controller it's depend on you what type of controller you are adding so we are adding empty controller means in this controller there is no auto generated code so click on this one uh, as per our uh, discussion earlier the controller name must be suffixed with controller so the application can be recognized that it as a controller so give the name as, as you wish employee employee mp hello y w employee controller what is my controller name that is employee controller and this must be a suffix controller must be a suffix without it application cannot be recognized this as a controller so click on add button it will be add one empty controller with one having one uh, empty method let us see this is a one empty method and uh, suppose whenever you find without this type of attribute that is the http delete get head post put then this method by default is a get understand this by default is a get so we will uh, put it as it is and uh, now we will start start writing another method that is uh, public json result what type of result we are going going to return that is json result let us type here public json json result this is one json result json results result employee m p l o y w -E. employee now put here or this will be going to same controller name and this one so i will rename some like this get employee l o y employee detail so so this one again emp detail so this is our json result method name what is this our json result method that is get emp detail so now before before our uh, without going through the database we will uh, create simple list here and we will add the some records uh, uh, as we want uh, we will create one generic list from our created model class what is our model class this is our model class so simply create the one generic list as uh, mp model or list uh, list list this one this one list now put here obj emp is equals to new mp model now let us here now why this is not coming because we need to add the reference of this folder which one this one so which one this using use our application name pass is json result type dot model models keep it is now it will be shown so add here new emp model what what we are going to add what is our first is id id will be 
ID will be ID will be integer so it is one and name will be let's say I will put my name Victor over J and let us I will put my city what is my city my city is Latour so I will put here Latour now let us add another one item in a list just copy it and paste it here uh, what type of record we are going to add id will be 2 id will be 2 and this name will be the suppose i will put this one to the year and this will be mumbai i am sorry a spelling mistake this will be latur now close this one now our list is ready to return the records as a json result type so what we need we need now return return json return return json and this is json so so what what Type of parameter it take it will take this uh, object object means nothing but this list of records and json behavior what is the json behavior we will see later so let us uh, try to return uh, this list as a json result type so put this one now this will be written as a json type result so uh, so let us go to the app start why we are going here because we need to set the starting method so what type of start method we are saying uh, what is our controller name our controller name is employee emp l o y w -E, employee and what type of method we are uh, going to start at the time of running this one which one this get one so this one get emp now if I don't specify any uh, any HTTP method that is a get put post or delete it's by default consider as a get so I don't need to put here get because there are uh, there because of there are two ways because I have already defined his get because it will it will detect this is a get first three parameters of this method and uh, uh, application over understand that this is a get method or if this there is no gate here then the application automatically understand that this is a gate because by default behavior of this uh, type of action result is is gate so for your understanding purposes i will put here http gate so we can uh, get idea now everything is ready you are you are configuring this route.config employee controller get emp now what next step is next step is simply run the application and let us see what error we will get and why i will explain it later so let us running application in the firefox so it will took some few seconds while building uh, wait for it now uh, what I have did here, I have simply created one generic list from our created model and I am this list I am returning as a JSON result to the client, client or browser or user, all the same things. So wait, now it will come to the browser and it will be throw error, yeah. Yeah, 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 wait, 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 wait. So, coming it. So, my visual studio is very slow. Configuration is very high, but no, I ah, see. The request has been blocked because sensitive information could be disclosed to the third party website when this is used in a get request. Uh, why this error come because of the security information the gate request to return json 
JSON result output is by default disabled. Which for which request? For get request, by default the JSON result type is disabled. So we need to enable it. Means we need to allow it. That is get request. We need to allow it. So how to allow it? Just we need to set it as set this one. Let us stop this one. So we can edit. We need to set this as a JSON. Behavior. Let us see. JSON behavior. Dot by default is get method is disabled. See allow get HTTP get request from the client are allowed. If I said denied, HTTP get request from the client are not allowed. Means by default is deny get is set. So we need to allow get. So it is that allow get. So the client can communicate using the get request. Now run it again. Now this time definitely it will be show the JSON result output. So this is the JSON result output. I can maximize it. Wait, I am maximizing it. So you people can see. See. I think it is viewable for all of you. See, this is a this is called as JSON output. This is ID one. This is name. Vital Verge. City is Latour. Second is name to so this city is uh, Mumbai. So this is called as simple JSON output. Is nothing but the JavaScript object notation, which is a simple text file format output. So I hope uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial and you have learned uh, how to the return the JSON result type to the client and what is the JSON result type. I hope uh, this tutorial is very useful for all of you. If you have any comments, if you have any suggestion, uh, please connect with me on uh, my personal blog that is www.compilemode.com. Also follow me Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever you have. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.